Good evening, I'm Joe Torres, in tonight for Bill. And I'm Shade Better and Wild. Those stories are just ahead, but first tonight, an Eyewitness News exclusive. A terrified family in the Bronx talked to us about the moment a bullet blasted through their ceiling with young kids nearby. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan leads us off tonight. You can see there are children here as soon as you step inside. Backpacks, toys, furniture, crocs all around. It is a tiny living room on Tebold Avenue in the Bronx, but it is fully child friendly. Or it was until last night. Do you feel safe no. living here? No. You don't feel safe in this apartment anymore? No. She is just 10 years old and her mother doesn't want her face to appear on TV after the terror she went through last night. Her mother is afraid for the whole family. The sound it was a big pal, she told me, and it woke her up. It was just right over her head. It just missed her head. Child's grandmother was here with the children last night when a bullet came crashing through the ceiling, ricocheted off the wall, and landed on the floor. I was getting ready to go to bed because I had school in the morning, and a few minutes later, I heard a boom, and my grandma started screaming, and we didn't know if somebody was shooting in the hallway or if like they were shooting outside. When my daughter called me, she called me and said, Mommy, they shooting. Please hurry up and come home. Police came and are now investigating, but now the family feels trapped here. My kids is nervous. Um, they always behind me. If I go to the bathroom, they coming with me. They keep asking me, can we move? They don't want to stay here. They want a new apartment. They want a new house. Do you want to move? Yes, I need help. Anyone out there that can help me get a transfer, I would be more than thankful for my kids' safety and myself. I'm scared and worried. About being here? Yeah. We did knock on the door one floor up from the apartment where the bullet came through. There were two police officers inside discussing the matter with that resident. So far, no arrests in this case.